let's start off with some tips for writing a resume. So here, basically, I'll be talking about the various sections and how it should be. So the first thing is, of course, you should optimize your name or contact section. You know, there are many people and I have seen so many resumes in, uh, you know, as when I was working and even now I get many resumes when we are hiring. There are people who would put in a lot of unnecessary information, right? Uh, you know, like things like uh, I would say they would put something like... Uh, Full of full on address, like from their house number to street number to pin code. Now, employers don't really need your uh, per se full address. I mean, you know, your email ID these days, everything is done over an email, right? You don't have to put your home address in the resume, of course. So, that is one thing. So, the when we say optimizing the name and contact section, so what exactly should be coming in? Your full name, of course, your email ID your professional email id that you will you know be contacting people on and your linkedin profile now it is very important that you also hyperlink these things so that you know if someone has to risk write you back they can just click on that email uh that what you have written it's a hyperlink so it will automatically open the email or if it's a linkedin page they click on that and they can easily open it because nobody has the time to then okay see that okay this person's name is this they'll go on linkedin and then search no you have to hyperlink it and linkedin profile is very important part these days if you do not have a linkedin profile uh, then it's going to be a big, uh, you know, for the company, they might, it, will, it could be a big no-no because every, each and every company these days, uh, you know, will post on LinkedIn their job. And even if you're not applying from LinkedIn, you could be applying from Nokri.com, but you need to have a LinkedIn profile. And of course, make sure you are, you know, you have put on all your details in your LinkedIn profile from your work experience, your education, whatever, the, of course, the necessary things are. But the thing is that it's very important that you are hyperlinking it because if I am, let's say, if somebody follow, forwards me a resume, I'm a manager, the HR forwards me. And if I got the resume on my mobile, now I'm not going to go search your LinkedIn profile. So it needs to be hyperlinked. Any personal portfolio website that you might have also, again, you would need to hyperlink. Now, these would be more of in creative fields. You would probably have a portfolio or anything like that. But in general, if you have something like that, Basically, you need to hyperlink all of these things. And like I said, optimizing your name and contact section. Don't put in your home address, your PIN code, your different sorts of telephone numbers, your mobile number, your email address, and your name is more than enough. And of course, your LinkedIn profiles uh, link. All right, then ordering of your work experience. Now, here many people again do a mistake. So you should always be highlighting the most ex relevant experience up top first. Yes. But that being said, I don't mean that you need to list every job you have ever done. For example, and now this would probably happen, I would say, uh, because in India also now we have summer uh, internships and all of that. But mostly if you are from a foreign country wherein you have let's say done an odd job uh let's say you have waited tables of your worked at mcdonald's as a part-time to earn some extra cash now this is very common in foreign countries right now but if you're applying for let's say an marketing role or let's say an accounting role you really don't need to put that on your resume right because that's not really linked that experience that you've gained that's not really linked to the job that you're applying so you need to highlight the most re relevant experience up top first definitely but any job experience that that is not that important or that really does not need uh you, you know to be highlighted that you don't need to include it so you should focus on highlighting your accomplishments with quantifiable metrics there are so many so many people who do this that in their uh you know work experience when they are mentioning okay from they worked in, let's say, XYZ company this day to this date. And then they will just list down what all they were responsible for. They'll say, let's say, responsible for a team of 10 people, uh, responsible for um, pre preparation of something, uh, responsible for uh, doing this XYZ task. But you are just telling that you were responsible for all this thing. 
how does the employer know that you have actually accomplished something there so you need to highlight your accomplishments you need to tell that okay i did this xyz thing let's say you were in audit so you can tell i did the audit of now you don't even have to mention the client's name so i did the audit of let's say a pharmaceutical company and i found out these these things and i suggested the client xyz thing and it helped them saving let's say this many dollar amount so you need to tell your accomplishment that what have you done well they are not interested in your responsibilities they want to know what you did well what you accomplished there and of course if you can quantify it then that's like cherry on cake you need to quantify it you know your dollar or rupee whatever you need to quantify that okay this is what you did this is how it impacted this is how much the company saved in whatever field whichever field you are in and this is the amount so you need to basically show the impact that you have had in the workplace now that's very important like what is the impact that you have had in the workplace is something of course that is very important right because if you are just telling i did just this then how can employer really say that okay that's great that you did this you need to tell them that okay i did this uh, and i managed so many people and i accomplished this in that time frame whatever it is whatever you have accomplished you need to highlight that and not just your role or just um, you can't just say that okay i just did this and done or uh, this was my duty and done no you need to sort of highlight it you need to tell what you accomplished there and how exactly you sort of you know uh, i would say in a way uh, had a great positive impact in the workplace all right moving on to the third point one second yeah so how to properly write your job description um so basically you should of course like i said highlight your achievements no doubt in that right it is important that you are highlighting the achievements but at the same time like i said uh when you're writing a job description it is important that you're keeping few things in mind right now when you are uh, applying for a job right firstly this is something that i always tell uh, people that what happens is uh when you are you make a resume and you just circulate it everywhere like you would send it to all the companies that you are applying no that is not how you should be doing what exactly you should be doing in your job description is something that we will be talking uh, you know in a moment also but for now how to properly write a job description like i said you need to highlight your achievements rather than duties so when you are writing your work experience in that only you are going to put the job description right like the job that you did in those workplaces so you have to highlight what you accomplished what were your achievements rather than just stating out your duties because that's not going to really be helping anyone because this was your duty okay fine how is that going to help them all right then moving on to the fourth point where to put your education section another important uh, you know thing that some people are confused where should i exactly put my uh, education section so the thing is if you let's say of already established in your field you have let's say work experience of more than 2 years you may have experience of let's say 4 years or so then of course experience will be greater than education that is your experience should come first and then you should go ahead and you know focus on your uh, education part that okay this is what i'm going to put in my education however if you are a recent graduate you need to move your education up top because you might have not have not much experience maybe just an internship of 2 months or something like that so in that case what you have to do is of course you will put your education first but if already you are established in your field you have experience of few years then definitely definitely your uh, work experience is going to come first and then you're going to state your education now in education also of course you are not going to list down everything that okay in 10th class i got this much 12th class like if you are uh, recently graduated then you can of course put uh, then also i would suggest from putting from uh, maybe 12th class uh and then your of course college uh, whatever you did but if you are of course established in your field then definitely do, maybe not don't even need to put 12th class you can straight away put your uh, college and if again if you have any uh, let's say professional or any other certification any professional course you would have done acca cpa whatever 
Then the skill section. Now, this is, of course, very useful if you have any specific certification or any specific skills. What does this mean? Uh, let's say you are very good at Power BI. It's a tool, right? P tech people use it. Or you're very good at SAP, SAP or ERP systems. And you have certifications. You, you know, you online study these, you give exams and you have then get certifications. Then, of course, in the skill section, definitely put these things. I see many people putting in the skill section uh, Microsoft Office. You know, Microsoft Office is so basic it is expected by the company that you know microsoft office these days for almost i would say all the jobs unless of course it's you know some sort of a job where you have no use of the computer but other than that if it's any sort of a job in any field you need to know microsoft office so that is not a very great thing to be boasting about that oh i know word and i know excel that's like basic of course, if you have done, let's say, advanced Excel, where, which is an advanced level of your normal Excel, wherein there's a lot of things that has been taught and you have a certification for that, then of course you could put. But other than that, just basic Microsoft Office is not a very great skill to boast about. Then your extracurricular and awards. Now, these basically convey any other trades that recruiters could be looking for. So if you have any extracurriculars or if you have won any awards, Definitely you could put that. For example, when I was working in Big Fours, uh, I worked in two Big Fours. So in both the Big Fours, you know, Big Fours have this culture and many companies have this culture wherein there are many award systems like they give employer of employee of the month or best performer or a kudos award, all these sorts of things. Now, if you have one, something like that in your similar organization, then definitely put that up. I had one. So I used to list that out. Definitely. But let's say if you are a fresh graduate, then you will have not won any awards in your, you have no experience over there. But of course, in your college, if you have won any awards, maybe you are very good at public speaking, you have participated in various debates, or maybe you are very good at sports, you could list that out also. So any extracurricular awards that are worth highlighting, definitely put that up. Uh, and please note, extracurriculars is different from hobbies. Do not put in your hobbies that, oh, I love painting or I love music. No, any extracurricular activity, maybe you have in your colleges, there are fests, right? Uh, you have uh, org you are involved in the committee where, who, who organizes fest and all that. So these things you could put. And if you have won any awards in your maybe high school or let's say college as a fresh graduate uh regards to anything whether it's sports or extracurricular any award then definitely you could list them out mm -hmm.